Hope you all had an awesome weekend. A quick and early update here on Natgas Gold, Silver, Crude Oil, starting with natural gas. So what do we have right here, starting with Oanda platform? So hey, on Oanda, if you are trading on this platform, we are now broken above the first top. Means we have no valid head and sh sorry double top pattern. So if you remember in my yesterday's video, all I wanted to see a bearish engulfer, a valid bearish engulfer for my double top trade, which we did not get. Or we wanted to see a, a valid bearish three year two candle or a pin bar, which we did not get of course so no conditions no entry so at this point simply i'll be looking at a level above which is a new level i'm going to mark mention in a very short while and also a pullback now at this point all i'm waiting for a good pullback must be above 20 or 50 ema 50 ema is very important now that could be a deep pullback as well so no conditions no entries if you have entered as a head and shoulder pattern if you have managed till here like i mentioned in my last videos that you can manage your trades till here if you have that that's totally fine cut your profits wait and look for the next condition otherwise it's just agreed if you are not cutting your profits as we have a very good risk to reward ratio in this trade as well we've been mentioning from a couple of days so just a pullback entry here followed by bullish engulfing candle if we have that we are good to go short and keep on taking sorry long and keep on taking longs till we are at the next major level of resistance it is a major level of resistance which is 3.093 that goes to 3.287 now this is an area the only area i want to look for my sell trades a counter trend trade with bearish and golfers or double top or inverted hammers three to candle bearish all these are my entry conditions sell only from this area or sell only once we are broken below these emas otherwise just looking for a good pullback followed by bullish engolfer and keep on taking long still we are in the zone above i've just mentioned now here on capital.com we are now at the area of double top pattern so we still have no conditions no double top no valid entry pattern so let's say if we have a next candle as a green candle and then a very next candle is a bearish engulfing candle only wake is allowed to go up if we have that in that case we'll have a valid double top pattern keep a stop loss above take profit we can keep one to one initially and then manage it accordingly you can also manage it till the 20 or 50 ema's 20 ema will be the first target if you have a double top a valid double top if not just look for the normal pullback above 50 or 20 ema with a bullish engulfer and we're going to go long till we are in the level above right here which is four 3.427 that goes to 3.633 from where we're going to look for the counter trend trades otherwise wait and see how this pattern forms a bearish engulfer then we have a sell signal if no condition just look for the normal pullback which is expected at we also have an overbought situation if we have a pullback above 50 EMA with a bullish engulfer we'll then have a buy signal and we keep on taking long still we are broken above this high and we are in this area to take over the next counter sell trade so wait and see how it, how it goes this just a red candle can be also a valid double top but trust me it's going to be really really risky and i wouldn't go for it as it is also a minor zone not a major zone and if you have an aggressive double top in that case I avoid taking entries but if you're someone who really want to take a risk and want to go for a very low risk that's totally up to you but i personally wouldn't be going for this one here on Nemex, exactly the same as capital.com right here the zone we are inside of is this one i've already mentioned these zones in my yesterday's video feel free to check that out here on Nemex futures we have a prize inside a double top area now remember if you have broken and close above this high with a body if that happens the double top pattern will become invalid exactly the same here on Oanda. the prize close above this high so we have an invalid double top here on my platform so but if you're trading on Nemex or capital.com once we are broken above we are good to go long and just looking for long trades and in that case we're going to use the zone which i've already mentioned all three zones in my yesterday's video we're going to look for a pullback to this zone and keep on taking longs till we are in the zone above which is right here which i've not really draw this zone because i've just start using this nemex chart so i'll keep you guys updated with the zones here on nemex in my next video so have these zones on your chart and look for the breakout if you have a condition here we're good to go short and long if you have bullish in golfer above 50 EMA, that is what I'm looking at. Very simple and very easy. Look for the condition. And we are not taking any trades without condition. Without conditions, we are just gambling, not trading. Next one, we have silver. Silver is now inside an area of value, which we already got a nice trade out of. So in that condition, I just avoid taking next buy trade unless we see a very nice, let's say a double bottom or a very stri strong bullish in golfer inside the zone. Now at this point, 
prizes form and forming a bearish engulfing pattern. Now, like I mentioned, the price just made a new low. If you have a bearish engulfer, in that case, we can get a little scalp of sell trade of 20 cents target. I'll be going for which is 1 ATR. You can also go 1.5 ATR, which is like 35 cents if you want to enter. If once this candle is closed, if we have that, we are good to go short as it will be a valid bearish engulfing pattern if we have this candle close as a bearish engulfer. Otherwise, for the long-term sell trades, I would just want to see a break of this zone completely. Once we are broken below 28.71, only then we're going to start to look for the continuation sell trades here on silver. Otherwise, I'm still waiting if the price break above 50 or 20 EMA for the continuation towards the upside or broke below this zone for the continuation towards the downside. Otherwise, just a little scalp here, which is my sell condition. Looking at the conditions, we are now trading below 50 EMA. That is why if you are, if you have a bearish engulfer i'm going to go for the little scalp and then exit my trades here on gold we are also in a minor area not a major area but looking at one hour time frame as you can see we have a double bottom pattern and looking at this candle atr is seven seven atr has been hit as you can see the price already pushed up eleven dollars more than that but I'm still expecting a price to push up and hit at least 50 EMA. Once we have that, I'm going to look for a bearish engulfer, but on four hour time frame, right? If we have a push up above below 50 EMA or 20 EMA and price form a bearish engulfer, I'm going to go short and we might get another bottom and price might form a double bottom entry pattern. So that's what I'll be looking at on one hour time frame. We had a double bottom, like I mentioned yesterday, right here, price pushed up more than 180 ATR. And let's see how it goes for the complete bearish continuation. I still want to see a complete break and close below 22.84. Once we are broken below completely, in that case, we are completely bearish and looking at a support level below, which I'm going to mention in my next video. For now, short term trades here on silver, sorry on gold. Once we have a condition like bearish and golfer above 50, below 50 EMA, we're going to go short. Lastly, we have crude oil is now in a level of trend continuation bearish area. Now I've just redone the zones right here. I've already sent these to my members, which is 76.58 that goes to 78.58, an area from where now I'm looking for a possible condition, which is a bearish engulfer or double top entry pattern. For less aggressive trades, I want to see a double top. That is an extra confluence. If you want to enter in, in a less aggressive way, crude oil is not one of my favorite commodity that runs technically, but this is the other condition technically I'll be looking at. Yes, we are above 50 EMA on four hour time frame but it is also of a bearish trend continuation area but if I, if we have a nice condition like double top or a bearish engulfer i'm going to go short using one to two atr for my target and exit and see my next condition so wait for that once we have a condition within this zone we are good to go short otherwise if there is no condition as we are now above 50 ema if you have a good push up pullback bullish engulfer we are good to go long just a little scalp of buy trades using one to two atr for your targets so that's it for commodities guys hope you're getting value if yes hit a like button for me subscribe if you're new so that we can all trade together and trade efficiently hope you trade green see you guys in the next video till then take care